Hello everybody, welcome back to Suburban Snacks, where we not only inform you of current real estate topics, but we also review a different food item every month. This month's snack is tamarindo bars. Before we review the snack, we'll be informing you on the five ways that you can take title of your home. When buying, selling, or refinancing, you will need to decide how you want to acquire title. How you take title may have significant legal and tax planning consequences. If you have questions, you should contact your attorney or tax consultant to figure out which manner best suits your needs. Before we get into it, I'd like to thank Pioneer Title Agency for giving us all the information we're going to share with you. Now let's jump into the first way, which is community property. Community property is for married couples only. Arizona is a community property state. This means by statute that all property acquired during a marriage is presumed to be community property, except that acquired by gift, descent, devise, or unless another form of ownership is expressly stated. The interest of a deceased spouse passes by a will or intestate secession, generally through probate proceedings. The second way is through community property with right of survivorship, which is also for married couples only. This is co-ownership by a married couple when expressly stated through the vesting document. Upon the death of one spouse, title vests in the sub surviving. Right. <laughs> Upon the death of one spouse, title vests in the surviving spouse without the need for probate proceedings. This manner of holding title may have tax advantages that are not available to other forms of ownership. The third way is through joint tenants with rights of survivorship. This is co-ownership between individuals in which title to a descendant's interest passes to the surviving joint tenants without the need for probate proceedings. The last surviving joint tenant acquires full title to the property. The fourth way is tenants in common. This is co-ownership between individuals and or entities who do not have survivorship rights. Each party owns a specific, undivided interest in the property. If fractional interests are stated, they must total 100%. If interests are not stated, then equal shares are presumed. And the fifth and last way to take title is by sole and separate, which is through a married individual only. This refers to real property acquired by a spouse prior to marriage or acquired after marriage by gift, dissent or devise, or by expressly stated intent. When a married person acquires title as sole and separate property, his or her spouse must execute a disclaimer deed. So if you are someone who wants to learn ma So if you are someone who is interested in learning about how they can take title, then we at Suburban would love to help. Alrighty, now it is time for our snack review, which I am very excited because this month is a new snack. And we have another Mexican candy here. It is tamarindo, tamarindo bars. <laughs> I might need some scissors here. Do you actually have scissors in there? Look at the little superhero lion, bro. Heck yes, here it is. All right, so far the packaging sucks. I'm just kidding. Tastes like an, a, like an eccentric fruit roll up or something. That's actually really good, super fruity. Highly recommend. We'll see how the rest of the crew thinks about them. If you guys have tried these, make sure to let us know in the comments below what you think about them. That's going to do it for us here at Suburban Snacks. If you have any questions or would like to get in contact with us, please feel free to visit our website at suburbanrealestategroup.com. Also, make sure to click on the link below to follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. My name is Cade Olaf, and we will see you in the next one.